Hello, y'all. I'm back. It's um 9.14 p.m. Well, I got off the bus about an hour ago. <clears throat> so, um, the per- bus driver lady, she left me alone today. <clears throat> I guess ever since the, um, they had, I guess, one of the supervisors. <clears throat> Come on, man. soon as I start the video. <clears throat> it's Monday. It's not Friday. I can feel and smell the raggediness and the loudness <clears throat> from way over here. <clears throat> the video just starting. <clears throat> and so, um, So, yeah, come on, man. <clears throat> so, um, I guess I feel optimistic that I'm going to get some sleep tonight. But, um, <clears throat> can y'all keep me in your prayers? Please pray for me. Somebody said that they were supposed to help me out with um a five hundred dollar a month place to live. <clears throat> so um please keep me in your prayers. Please pray for me <clears throat> that I can successfully get that place. Um well even if it's not that one just some place to live <clears throat> and get off the streets and um i mean 500 a month you know then i won't have to worry about waterfront mission playing with my mail hopefully i probably can get back on food stamps <clears throat> and hopefully i can get some assistance Hopefully, I can get some assistance, what they call IHEAP or something like that. And then I'll, I can get rid of the storage unit as well. <clears throat> I, I can get rid of the storage unit and put everything in my new supposed place to live. Um, so <clears throat> I'm, I'm, I'm hoping that it will, you know, I'm hoping that I, cause I was hoping that by October, by the beginning of October, I was hoping to have a permanent home, but you know, um, <clears throat> well, I'm, at least hopefully by November. <clears throat> so, um, <clears throat> oh man, I'm so tired and exhausted. So yeah, I mean, that'll be the only way I can get rid of my storage unit is if I can get a place to live. And I'm going to try as best as I could, like, to not let them run me off from my place and me be forced to be back on the streets again. I'm going to try my best to not let that happen. But there's no guarantee I get the place. But I'm saying, like, if y'all can keep me in your prayers, that I could get the place and get off the streets. <clears throat> and if I can get that place... um. You know, if I can get that place to live <clears throat> at the beginning, of course, like for, for the first month or two, I'm probably going to end up financially. Come on, stop. See, they don't even care. 
I might end up, you know, needing some help for the first, like, come on, man. Evil. <clears throat> for the first month or two, I might financial. See, they, see they're trying to, they got the fake modified loud cars. So, um, I was, each time I try to talk, that's when you make more noise. You rev, they keep revving the damn car up. <clears throat> it made me forget, lose my train of thought and forget what I was trying to say. ridiculous and here's that red car again wait is that you making all that freaking noise <clears throat> so um Yeah, they passed by here early, like about 20 minutes ago, 20 or 30 minutes ago. <clears throat> so, um, <clears throat> excuse me. So, for the first about month or two, I'm probably going, you know how it is when you first move in and, and you're coming out of homelessness? So, um... Trying to get, um, <clears throat> so for me to try to get, um, to get established or get settled, um, with utilities or, um, whatever bills, um, hold up. Come on, man. See that y'all are two vehicles right upon each other and, and there is no traffic. Y'all are two gang stalkers. Y'all are two gang stalkers together because y'all um and they got a perp walking by with his cell phone aimed down. I think I just missed him. So, um, come on, man. <clears throat> See, noise. They're trying to block me, stop me from talking about what I need to talk about. <clears throat> so, I don't know, five hundred dollars out of eight thirty-seven. <clears throat> um, I could afford the five hundred, you know. But if I were to get food stamps and the lie heap or whatever for the equivalent of lie heap, and also um. <clears throat> I think I may not have to, I mean, financially I would be tight, but I may not have to, um, probably, maybe, maybe not have to, um, <clears throat> have to, um, you know, panhandle and ask for help. But, um, <clears throat> and, and, and I was, I already did a YouTube video on one of these channels talking about how homelessness is more expensive than housing, but, um, and I'm, I'm thinking about trying to do a blog post on that same topic, trying to explain why and how 
homelessness is more expensive than housing, <clears throat> especially if you're targeted. Well, homeless or not, being targeted, your life is forced against your will. Your life is forced to be more expensive than regular people. <clears throat> so, um, I did a video about that in, um, 2020 and the video got wrongfully taken down. <clears throat> it was that or, the, or another one. So, um, I don't know how or why, <clears throat> but, um, I th that look like funny headlights, but I'm, yeah, I'm thinking about trying to, see where does Southern traffic come from? <clears throat> so I'm, um planning to, if I can get adequate rest, I'm planning to write um, a, a blog post explaining my personal experiences of how and why being homeless is more expensive than being housed. <clears throat> so, um, it's odd and strange. But, I mean, um, I, I don't know about others, but I, I mean, I I can probably pull some resources and other people say too, that homelessness is more expensive than housing. Or some people will say that homelessness costs taxpayer money. It's more taxpayer money than housing. So, um, So I'm, I mean, well, it would be great if I were to get permanent housing, I could rest longer, rest more, and, um, and I can write more. I can write more short stories, more nonfiction, um, ebooks and more fiction novels if I'm well rested enough I probably can go back and edit some short stories or probably add more to some short stories that might be considered as not well written because of the sleep deprivation or distraction or something like that <clears throat> you know fake high traffic and there was hardly any traffic the whole time I was eating except this one perp in the dark gray for Toyota 4Runner he had his arm raised up like this you know and a lot of people had their arm raised up like this and had their elbow kind of slightly out of the window So, um, excuse me. So, um, Yeah, I mean it's not a guarantee, but I'm I'm hoping and praying, you know. Wow, come on, man. I think they're hitting me in the throat with the director energy weapons. See, it looks rid ridiculous. They hit me in the, in the throat with the directed energy weapons. 
So, um, wow, they must really not want me to talk about this. They're hitting me in the throat and a hit in my head and causing me a headache. <clears throat> and so, um, I feel like as if they're stabbing me in the throat. It feels like as if they're remotely stabbing me in the throat. And this is the first time I felt this. But when you got a permanent place to live, you get hit with the direct energy weapons worse than when you're on the streets or when you're homeless or something. But I'm going to try to get back stabilized, hopefully, you know. But you know what? If I end up back, I mean, getting me a place to live, it'll be the first place to live I ever had here in Pensacola. And I always wanted to see what it was like to, you know, what it's like to have your own place living in Pensacola. The closest I got to it was um, staying in a hotel or motel. But I'm a, I'm a, I wanted to see what it was like to have, like, you know, a permanent home. But, you know, I, I still would like to make a living or earn some income or side income, like donations and tips from my writings. And um, due to the fact that they would probably try to knock me off my place, it's why I'm um they have other house targeted individuals they got GoFundMe and fundraiser up too. So I'm I'm not gonna try to delete my um my fundraiser until I'm at least financially and mentally secure um enough that if I can feel confident and secure that I, if I can feel confident and secure that, okay, I can stay in this place long term. But you never know because they might have some gang stalking set up. Anything could happen. Anything could happen. And I don't want to give the perps ideas. But, you know, their goal is to try to make you homeless and keep you homeless, jobless and everything. So I don't understand why fake T.I. perps wanting to falsely accuse me of scamming people and get on, getting over on people or falsely accuse me of quitting a job on purpose just for an excuse to beg. That's what the regular perps say. And then when I do a video saying you're a fake T.I. perp, when you say stuff like that, then you want to talk about me throwing you under the bus and slandering you. No, I'm not slandering you. I'm telling the truth because that's what you said. So, um, it's like, how the hell somebody going to have a right to sue you for slander and it's true and what you said is true. They just don't want to look bad. That's why they want to scatter like roaches and then they want to gang up and mob and bully, you know, bully, harass and threaten you. So, um. So you never know what they would try to do. I mean, I was supposed to have been in a place at the beginning. Actually, originally by August 2019, I was supposed to have been in a place. And um, I was so close to having the confidence that I would, can get me enough money to get to get a place when I was working at the fake dirty YMCA what they did reduce my hours and then set me up and lied on me and had me wrongfully fired and banned I mean the YMCA is a couple of blocks like I say like three blocks away from here but no, I have to go on the other side of town to go get a shower. I have to go on the other side of town to get a shower. But 
due to the gang stalking, I have to get on the bus and go on the other side of town just to get clean. When I, If it weren't for the gang stalking and them bullying and setting me up, I could just walk three blocks down right there and take a shower. But they harassed and mobbed me out of that place, and I think Alex Dupree has something to do with it. <clears throat> so, um, they say that by tomorrow morning, it's supposed to be 70 degrees. It's cold. I feel cold. They say it's 70, 73 degrees right now, and... My phone battery is at 86% right now. <clears throat> I took off my socks and my hoodie. And um, now I feel cold. But I don't want to feel like I'm burning up either. This is a 20 degree sleeping bag and I feel cold. Come on, y'all. Shut up. So it's very windy and cool right now. It's strange because it could be 73 degrees and feel like I'm burning up one night. Another night it will be considered 73 degrees and I feel like as if I'm freezing. And now these bastards hitting me in my heart with the directed energy weapons. Like they're um electronically and remotely poking my heart, like pricking and poking in my heart. That's what it feels like. They must really not want me to um, you know, <clears throat> the person from yesterday that took me to fake Walmart, and she had her kids and stuff. She seemed like she was genuine and sincere. But um, I, I feel like I hope that the perps didn't compromise her. And she's young, like 24. She told me she was 24. But I would have thought she was way older than that. I, I would have thought she was close to my age. But <clears throat> I'm... I'm I told her briefly about gang stalking and um, warned her against, you know, whatever, smear campaigns and stuff. I'm surprised she was open-minded about it, you know. But, um, yeah, I'm hoping, I'm sitting here feeling, come on, stop. And they picked the loudest, raggediest freaking cars. Oh, that's a damn motorcycle. <sighs> so, yeah, it's a, according to Google, it's supposed to rain. Come on, man. They won't let me talk. So, um, it's a, Come on, it's freaking ridiculous. Nick, I'm about to have a meltdown, y'all. I've already felt like I had a rough day and been angry all day. And I can still hear those fuckers. <clears throat> so, um... I Google says it's supposed to rain all day tomorrow. And then it looked like Wednesday morning is supposed to be down to 51 degrees. And I think Friday and Saturday or Saturday and Sunday is supposed to rain again. <clears throat> so
So, um, one thing, how is it that, um, I don't know, I've been just confused and mentally, um, frustrated about a lot of different things about the way I've been treated and abused by people lately. And then narcissistic abusers always try to make it like I have my nerve to talk about myself being abused. And then they want to falsely accuse me of treating people mean. ridiculous perp so um <clears throat> so I mean Nah, I can't even concentrate. So I'm confused because I don't know. Um, the charge from Thursday night or Friday morning. The hotel. Um, well, I guess the, what I was supposed to have paid. Well, I actually paid it Thursday morning. Um, the price that I paid for the hotel room Thursday morning for Thursday night. I don't know if I got, I mean, basically they erased, I mean, because they debited off, off of my account, but then I felt confused because they credited it back and it looked like as if, as if they erased the transaction like as if the money was never taken out. So I guess they must have reimbursed me um, back one hotel room night. But um, I called earlier and tried to figure out, um, you know, but the lady said that the manager won't be in until the day after tomorrow. So... I'm afraid to touch that money or spend it because what her they what they did at quality in at which is now called rest and relax in or something like that um for hurricane Sally, I think they debited the money out of my account and then credited it back and then took the money out again. And by the time they tried to take it out again, I ended up with a negative balance. And I'm like, wow, that was like in 2020 for Hurricane Sally. So um, when they that was when I got wrongfully banned from there, you know. And so for Hurricane Sally. I mean, that was the first time in like 15 years that I ever had a um, negative balance in my bank account. So, um, cause I, I'm like, wait a minute. I thought I had overdraft protection. So, um, but it got fixed, you know. But I'm hoping, you know, I said I'm sick and tired of janitorial and dishwashing jobs, and I wish for another type of job opportunity. But at the same time, I can't deal with being around loud music with retail and customer service and stuff. I can't function like that. I need peace and quiet, like the quiet that is it is at this moment. Before they started talking stupid asses. Shut up.
See, now they doing noise campaign, noise harassment. See, now they coming out the woodwork. They doing this to mock me. <clears throat> so, I mean, I don't know if I would need help with the deposit on rent or deposit on utilities or something. Not quite yet. I'm just thinking up things and brainstorming, but not quite yet. But um, I'm just, you know, letting y'all know in advance what possibly might happen. And so, um, but someone had helped me out with enough, I mean, you know, with a certain amount of, money like for some new shoes so I'm gonna save that part for some shoes you know but I don't know what to do with the extra hotel I don't I don't know I have I can't find out until I guess the day after tomorrow about the hotel if that was done deliberately or if I could keep that money or First thing I thought I was afraid I was banned because of the um what happened with that fake Anthony guy, the DoorDash perp. <clears throat>